End of course test. Listening one. Speaker one. Last year we did the whole road trip thing, you know, east coast to west coast, and it was awesome. We'd all been really looking forward to it and enjoyed every minute of it. One thing though, being on the road for that long means you don't take the little things for granted anymore, like having lots of clean towels and things. Speaker two. A few years back, we did a tour of Southeast Asia, and even though my dad hadn't been thrilled about going and was so miserable at the beginning, he'd wanted to drive around Australia instead. He stepped up to the plate in the end and got really into the whole thing. And I realized what a huge difference that made for all of us. I mean, who'd want to go on vacation with someone with the wrong attitude? No thanks. Speaker 3 my family did a statewide trip last summer, all along the coast and inland as well. I think because we were staying local, nobody really took it too seriously, and we ended up with a few problems on our hands. We can laugh about it now, I suppose, but there is a lesson to be learned, and that's that you do have to do something in the way of planning. Otherwise, you could end up ruining the whole thing. Speaker 4 we went to Canada a couple of years ago and spent a long time getting organized. We thought we'd thought of everything, but there were a few things we completely overlooked. So if you're planning a big trip, don't leave everything to the last minute. However long you think you need, add a few weeks to that and you'll save yourself a lot of hassle down the road. Speaker 5 Our trip around the Far East was amazing. It helped that my parents speak Mandarin Chinese and Japanese between them, and it was really cool to experience cultures that are so different from ours. Uh, I think we all took a lot away from that trip, you know, in one way or another. And, actually, I wouldn't mind doing it all again someday when I'm older. <laughs>